In this tutorial, I'm going to show you add an author box to your WordPress blog. So if you have a multi-author blog, or even if it's just you or one author on the blog, you can have a bio box at the bottom that shows a bio, a picture, a link to their website, a link to their social media, and you can pick and choose which of those you show in the bio box. You don't have to show all of them. And it's going to look a lot like the one you see up here. And I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and create these author boxes. I'll see you there. The first thing we have to do is install a plugin called AuthorBox. So we're going to head over to plugins and then add new, and then type in AuthorBox in the search bar. And there's a lot of different options. The one I most commonly use is this one on the top right, the simple author box. You can choose any of these when you want to and just try them out because they're all a little bit different. Uh, some of them might fit in your theme better, but the one I use is this one on the top right. And you notice that all of them are untested in the current version of WordPress, even though they've been recently updated. So you may want to just back up your site just for safety. I want a demo site, so I'm not really too worried about that. So I'm gonna click on install now and then activate. Now under our settings menu, we have a new option called Simple Author Box. I'm going to click on it to go check out the options. So at the very top, we have an offer here for short pixel to compress images. It says here you get 200 free optimization credits, or you can use the WP Smush plugin. Link to that tutorial down below where you can compress images for free. So choose one of those two because image compression is good, but you can safely ignore what they're saying up here. Don't worry about that. Down below, we have our options. General options are open by default, but we have general options, color options, typography options, and miscellaneous options. So under general, we have a bunch of things that you can customize in the author box. First of all, you can manually insert the author box by putting this code right here into the template files, or if you choose no, it's just gonna be added to every post. And it's gonna pull the author's data from the post to create the author box. Some authors, if you have a multi-author blog, may not have descriptions. Using this option here, just set this one to yes, that will hide the author box if there's no description. Gravatar image style, square, circle. Those are the two options we have there. I like the circles personally. Rotate effect on author box avatar hover. That sounds like fun, I'm gonna choose yes. Is your author or your authors allowed to display their website in the author box? Yes or no? I'm just gonna choose yes. I'm gonna turn on all the options so that when we create the demo author box in just a minute, we can see what all those options would look like. Author website position, put it on the right. Yes, open a new tab and add a no follow attribute or don't add a no follow attribute if you wanna be nice to those guys and help them with their SEO, which is probably what authors on your site would want if you're actually displaying their information. Social icon types, just gonna stick with the thimbles, but there's a bunch of style options here if you go with the colored. Open social links in a new tab, yes. Hide social icons on author box, no. Color options, I'm gonna leave these as default, but you can play with the color options in here. Typography, I'm gonna leave as is as well, but we can choose a bunch of different typography settings or customize them, they already chosen for us, but we can customize them in there. Miscellaneous options, we can have the font awesome style sheet disabled. So if you know that another plugin adds font awesome, or perhaps you added it manually, then you can turn this off. But if you don't think you have Font Awesome enabled, then you keep this as no, so it loads Font Awesome. This option down here, load generated inline style to footer. This is to help your site speed. And if you have a plugin that optimizes your CSS, if you don't have either of those, or if you're not sure, just keep this as no. Then when you're ready, click on save changes. Now I'm gonna head into the users, and I'm gonna find my user and fill out some data to make sure I have something to look at. I don't even know what my user's called. Maybe my name? Yeah, this one works. Let's do this one. I'm just gonna edit this to say Bjorn test. There's a bunch of Bjorns on here, so I'm gonna give that a Bjorn test so I know whose is whose. And then for Facebook, I'm just gonna type in Facebook. All of your authors will be able to access this through their profile, even if they're just contributors or authors to your site. They'll have the ability to go in here and edit these things if they want to. I'm just gonna add Facebook and Google. These aren't my real social links, as you can tell, just goes to their home pages, but that's enough to pull up the link and the icon in the author box. 
There's a lot of options for social media. This is my bio. I'm gonna copy and paste this a few times just so we have something to look at. Won't be pretty, but at least it's something. There's my mug, update user. And one last thing, I've got to change the role of this user from subscriber to author. Otherwise, I can't set them as an author. Update user. Now let's head over to posts. I'm gonna pick this, uh, not that one. I like movies. I'm gonna quick edit, assign Bjorn Test as the author. Update, and then we're gonna take a look at what this author box looks like. So here's our beautiful content. At the very bottom, it has Bjorn Test. And it has, this is my bio over and over. Here's my website. It's not so in the social links. So let's head back to the plugins and see if those social links are set properly. I'm pretty sure they were set properly, but clearly they're not appearing. Social icons, symbols, hide them, no. Let's choose colored, circle, rotate, shadow, thin border. Let's put all those, turn all those on. Save changes. Let's refresh this guy, see if they appear. Oh, look at that, they're at the bottom. Didn't even see them. They're always at the bottom right here, I'm blind. But I have this nice rotation effect, which is nice, and on our picture too. You might not like that, it looks a little bit hokey. Looks, looks fine on these guys, but it looks a little hokey there. You can go back in the settings, you can easily turn that off. Rotate effect on the avatar, turn that to no. Save this again, refresh this again. Now the rotate effect is gone, it stays on the social links. And if you add more, I only added Facebook and Google, but if you add more social links to a user's profile, they'll just generate down here. And I'm sure there's enough in that list to have social links across the entire author box. And this author box, the reason I like this plugin, is it's also responsive. As you can see, it's squishing as the, the browser gets smaller. And it stays nice and responsive, even centers the image on mobile, very small mobile devices. It's one of the reasons I like that author box. Easy to use, clean, looks good, and it's responsive. That's how easy it is to create an author box using this plugin. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.